Thank you, Tim. We do want to thank everyone who's showing us pictures. Uh, one of those is our reporter, Nate Rogers. He's been all over, but for now, he is in Schaumburg with a look at the weather at ground level there. Nate. Yeah, that's right, Don. Certainly um, an action-filled day, to say the least. When we left our Fox 32 studios in downtown Chicago, we saw a lot of people dressed in shorts and T-shirts, just enjoying the weather, enjoying the 70-degree temperatures. By the time we made it to the northwestern suburbs, so many people were working to take cover. Now, I want to give you all a play-by-play -play of our experience here in the field throughout the day. First starting in Glen Ellen around 4 p.m., drivers were seen filling up at gas stations, some even going through the car wash during the 70 degree temperatures as we headed along Randall Road around 6 p.m. landing in North Aurora. That's where we first start seeing a lot of lightning in the skies. Now, although rain was minimum at the time, just 30 minutes later, now in South Elgin, conditions changed quickly. We felt temperatures for sure dropping and winds picking up. Eventually, heavy rainfall came with hail falling hard for about 30 minutes. We also started hearing tornado sirens and thunder sound in that area. Conditions were so treacherous at times. My photographer and I, Todd, we decided to go inside of a shell service station where other people were trying to wait out the storm as well. The good news in all of this so far, we haven't um, seen any significant damage in the western suburbs as, of course, these conditions could have brought down a lot of trees and power lines. Of course, right now we're still surveying what reports um, do suggest at this time. Up next, returning to the 20 and 30 degree temperatures tomorrow. Gotta love Chicago. Of course, we'll continue to monitor conditions here and keep you updated on air and online. In Schaumburg, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago. And now yeah. it appears to be fairly dry where you are, Nate. Well, Thank you. He's going to be turning in that slicker for a parka tomorrow morning when we're in the 20s. You're looking live right now at O'Hare as we reported a ground stop because of the storms. And Tia Ewing has been moving around. She has more on the conditions. Tell us where you are and what you have seen. I know you're probably now at the airport, but you've been driving all night. Yeah, I've been driving absolutely all night. At one point, even got a little motion sickness from all the driving. We've been here within the storm force tracker throughout the south suburbs. We saw a lot of lightning. We didn't see a whole lot of rain, but we definitely experienced a lot of heavy wind. That wind was definitely impacting our vehicle throughout the evening. We are now outside of O'Hare, where there was a ground stop that was supposed to last until around 930 tonight. It did expire early, but it was really a fluid and scary situation at O'Hare earlier. This ground stop lasted for a couple of hours plus, to say the very least. And we do know that air traffic controllers working in the control tower here at O'Hare had to be evacuated. That happened at around 722 tonight because of those storms. Now, Midway also did sustain a ground stop. That is also expired. But let's tell you what the fallout is now as a result of those ground stops that did exist. At O'Hare right now, the average delay is running about 29 minutes. Total cancellations are 27. And over at Midway, the average delay is around 27 minutes. And there's only five cancellations to report. I heard Scott tell Nate that he would need to train in that rain jacket for a parka come tomorrow. But I would even venture to say that we should trade in these rain jackets right now. It is around 56 degrees out here right now. That's at least what our car is reporting. And we really feel the difference out here right now. Those temperatures have definitely dropped. And if we see anything else out here that we need to report back to you, of course, we'll report it right here on on air and of course on our website. Fox32Chicago.com, where you can watch the news stream there as well. Let's go to Emily Walls, who's tracking all of these conditions as everything is changing by the minute. Right, Emily? Yeah, things are changing very quickly. It just seems like every 10 minutes, you know, there's something new to talk about. And this time around, unfortunately, we are still talking about a tornado warning that is now in portions of the far northwestern extent of Lake County. So this is actually until 930, but here's the good news that I'll tell you about. If we see uh, this little circular thing here, that's called a shear marker on the northwest side, this is where we're seeing those signs of rotation. So basically in East Chicago, traveling right uh, just north of I-90. Uh, so we're seeing uh, that's where the signs of rotation are, but the storm motion is actually to the north and the east. So watch as I set this in motion, 
it's going to be making its way out over the lake. So for those of you that are in the far northern extent, if you're in Gary, this is wonderful news because this area of rotation is going to be passing to your north, likely over the lake.